Hi everybody, it's Nigel Lee here at Toes in the Sand Studios in the ancient city, St. Augustine, Florida. We're going to do a rig rundown and talk about all these weird sounds I get out of my bango. It's pretty cool stuff. It took a long time to get this combination together. I mean, I, I've been working on it for about a year and a half, two years now. I just started doing effects on the banjo about two years ago and everybody seems to really like it. So they're like, hey, we like that neat trick you're doing, so you know me. Look at me, let's do another trick. So uh, here we go, the rig rundown. So I have two tones or two pickups on my banjo. One of them is this fancy pickup right here. It's a compression style pickup by a K and K. I think it's K and K. And then I have a, a dual humbucker that you can't see. It's right about here. And it's, a, it's by EMG, it's active and has two coin batteries inside of it. A nifty little volume control down here. Um, so to get this pickup, the clean sounding pickup on my banjo to sound good, had to buy a real darn good analog DI. And that's this Red Eye Twin. This bad boy, so it'll take two different inputs. So you could use two different instruments. You could use, a, they've also got a little switch on here to a power, a phantom powered mic. It is a special edition unit. Pretty sure this is an R&D model. It's not out yet, but it, the, the one that comes out next will be similar to that. Um, it's got a little boost button, whoop, boost, no boost, boost, no boost. And then it's got this cool little switch right here where you could run both of your pickups at the same time, which is what I like to do. But right now we've got a little bit of clean going on. <laughs> So then, um, so then it has this nifty effects loop that uh, allows me to insert the effects cleanly. Um, and I guess we'll just we'll just go around real quick and talk about what each thing is. So we'll start here at the preamp, which is the heart and soul of everything. Here is a Nova Delay by TC Electronics. Um, I'm a big fan of this one because I can use my toe to change the volume, or rather, to change the uh, mix level. And you see these little numbers that keep popping up there. Well, I like about 28 to 38, depending on who's running sound. And I like about 42 on the feedback. And it's neat because, you know, if that isn't quite right, I can just reach down there and hit it. And I know exactly how far I've turned that knob. Then we've got, this right here is just a patch bay to kind of clean up a pedal board. Then we have a TC Electronics Nova Reverb. It's got uh, two settings on it. It's got whatever's up, the manual setting, then it's got a preset. Um, I, I just like the way this one sounds. I really enjoy the spring, the spring uh, reverb that they've got on there. I don't do a whole bunch of changing unless I'm doing something spacey, which I'll hit the preset. And that's uh, set to a church hall reverb with a whole lot of decay on it. Okay. Then over here is the Empress Para EQ. There's not a finer, not a finer EQ pedal on the market, in my opinion. Um, for the clean tone of the banjo, when you get it loud, you really have a lot of problems with low end frequencies. So I've got a big chunk of low end cut out over here. My mids are, are you know, scooped in uh, around the, I think the 500 range. The lows, uh, it's really not that low, I suppose, but it's a, it's a, a wide Q somewhere around 150. And then just in case I ever need to pull out a little bit of the highs, um, which I usually keep this at zero and I don't pull any out. Um, I've got it at 1.1K. All right, then over here to the Keeley Compressor Pro. This thing is just a switchblade compressor. I mean, it's a utility knife. You can do anything with it. You don't have to use it for a banjo or a guitar or whatever. You can do vocals, all kinds of stuff on it. Um, it's the Mac Daddy of all of the Keeley Compressor lines and super happy with it. And right here is the Keeley Workstation. Um, right now, I'm not using this for much more than a compressor because I started using all my drive from this bad boy, the Vax Banjatar by Orange Amps. Um, I got this bad boy used, had to have it fixed. It was worth every penny. It is a pretty sick tone. Here, let me show you what it sounds like. This goes through the dirty pickup, or rather through the, uh, the dual humbucker. So 
we'll go from here over to the Keeley Neutrino and the Keeley Compressor combo. You pretty much have to run this pedal after this pedal because this pedal gets pretty wild and outside, especially if you just let it run. You hit, hit the string and let that bad boy go, it gets real cattywampus and out of control real fast. So the Keeley Compressor really tones that down, shapes the sound and makes it super usable. And that sounds like one of my favorites. And then uh, if you really want to get wonky, see, see if you if you just let it hold. You hear all that crazy? So if you just let it do what it wants to, it'll really get wild. So you kind of got to dampen it and, um, and, and always have like a little bit of signal coming through. Or you can use your, uh, your volume pedal to just back off of the, the gain so it doesn't do anything at all. But, so, I'm going to show you what the delay pedal does. And then we get down here to the uh, Boss Multi Effects Looper and the uh, Looper by Saturn Works. And this thing is a, I mean, I wish I understood it. I'm still learning it. I've had it for about eight months. I put it on my pedal board because the only way to learn this thing is to have it in line and actually use it. Um, I've got it over here on Switch 4 at the end of the whole chain just so that, you know, when I'm sitting at home and I'm trying to learn a cool new tone or something, I might, uh, might do something like that. These are some of my favorites. And so one of the really neat things you can do, especially with this uh, red red eye twin DI is you can um, you can kick it to where it's both A and B, and now you've got all that wildness. <laughs> pretty much wraps it up. I've got a polytune, uh, polytune with a um, with a buffer inside of it here. This is also a, a buffer also by Saturn Works uh, with an effects loop which is 
really super useful for me with all this craziness because I don't usually plug into an amplifier. I just plug straight into the board. But um, come on. that's it. That's the rig rundown. Um, we'll try to put links to all these pedals and to our, our Amazon uh, affiliates and stuff so that if you decide you want to buy one of these pedals and you can put a couple of pennies into our pocket by that, you know, doing that. And um, man, thanks for supporting what I do. I love all y'all so much for it. See you soon.